Here's a 1980 Detroit Black Journal interview about the historical significance of African American art. Many of the paintings that um, we have selected, even for the show today, uh, exemplify the movements of the black man in this country. Uh, early on in the century, uh, blacks couldn't necessarily document their history themselves. There were not that many writers. Uh, they, couldn't, they weren't published the way they should have been, and they weren't even allowed to interpret their history. But many artists were painting. Uh, these paintings we hold as a legacy of our past. Uh, they're not necessarily to be interpreted. They, the paint has dried there. So uh, it's not about an artist uh, or a writer saying this is what happened. If it didn't, the painting actually has it there. So I think it's a record of the movements of black people in this country. Uh, it's a statement on what really happened. Now, in terms of black art, have black artists been sort of categorized in various categories as to a mode, a uh, different mode uh, or meaning or significant aspect of the art, say like a moderate artist or a radical artist, is that that type of dichotomy? Yes, there are several schools of Afro-American art. We have the Afro-Cobra school. Uh, this school, they're basically militant. Uh, they're fighting for black rights. They tend to think that the arts should be used as a vehicle to fight for one's purposes. However, you find this in many societies. Uh, even in the Mexican society, Rivera and uh, different artists like that, they, f they use their art to fight for the country's freedom. However, you still have the aesthetic uh, group of Afro-American Afro artists that simply paint flowers, abstractions, and some just simply paint aesthetic themes that have nothing to do with social uh, practices or politics. So there, there's a dichotomy between the two styles.